In this video, we'll look at exposing metrics on NRPE commands to a running NRPE daemon and adjustment Prometheus. To achieve this, we'll be using the NRPE exporter, which exposes metrics on NRPE commands. This allows us to see if a command has succeeded or failed, how long it took to complete, and the command status. In order to demo its use, we're going to set up a locally running Nagios NRPE server on our local machine that our NRPE exporter can talk to and export metrics from for our Prometheus to scrape. So let's begin by downloading and installing the Nagios NRPE server. So sudo apt-get install Nagios NRPE server. Once that's finished, we now need to configure the Nagios NRPE server. So we need to edit a few files. So sudo vim slash etsy slash nagios slash nrpe underscore local dot cfg. On line four, we need to add a loud host localhost. So let's save and exit that. Next, we need to disable SSL as the current version of the NRPE exporter does not support SSL. So sudo vim slash etsy slash default slash nagios uh, dash NRPE dash server. On line six, just uncomment daemon ops equals the command line flag no SSL. And save and quit that. With that done, we can now start our Nagios NRPE server. So let's cd into slash etsy slash init.d and run our Nagios NRPE server. So to do that, you do dot slash Nagios dash NRPE dash server space start. You may be prompted for your password. And now if we if we do service Nagios NRPE server status, we can see that our Nagios NRPE server is now running. Now, sometimes the the first time you run the NRPE Nagios server and the NRPE exporter, the NRPE exporter won't be able to talk to the Nagios NRPE exporter. Um, I'm not sure why this is the case. Um, but in order to remedy it, all you need to do is simply restart your Nagios NRPE server. So to do that, you just do service Nagios NRPE server restart. I prompted for your password again, and you restart it. Okay, so with our Nagios NRPE server downloaded, configured, and installed, we can now go ahead and download the NRPE uh, exporter. So heading over to our browser, um, all the links I'll be looking at here will be in the description of this video, but um, you just want to come over here to github.com slash robust perception slash NRPE underscore exporter slash releases, and you'll see the first release or whatever the current release is of the NRPE exporter. Now, I've already downloaded my tarball, so um, in my case, I need the Linux AMD64 tarball. That's what you will probably be using as well. Um, so you just download that and untar it. Um, I have mine all pre-downloaded here, so I've just made a quick uh, directory for this tutorial. Um, I've already downloaded my NRPE exporter tarball and my Prometheus tarball, as will be running a Prometheus instance as well. So um, once you untar the tarball, you'll get a binary uh, called NRPE exporter. So all you need to do is run that by doing dot slash NRPE exporter. And the exporter will start running on port 9275. So if we want to come back to our browser, we can head over to localhost 9275 and we can see our Nagios exporter here. So clicking on metrics, metrics will show us uh, the metrics, the Prometheus metrics about the NRPE exporter itself. And um, we're not too interested in that for this tutorial, but you can ingest them into Prometheus as well should you want to. Um, but what we're, what we're really interested in is the metrics the NRPE exporter is going to create and export about the command. Uh, we have check load here as an example against localhost uh, port 5666, which is where our Nagios NRPE server is running. So if I click this, 
we can see that we successfully created three metrics on the command check load against our target uh, where our Nagios NOPE server is running against. So we have three different metrics here. We have command duration, which uh, is the length of time the NOPE command took. We have command OK, which indicates whether or not the command was a success, which in this case it was. One indicates success, zero indicates failure. And then we have command status, which in this case is zero, which indicates the status of the command. And the types of all these commands are gauges. So um, now that we have our Nagios NRPE server running and our NRPE exporter exporting metrics on commands uh, that have been run against that Nagios NRPE server, we now would wish to ingest these um, metrics into Prometheus itself. So um, again, the links will be in the description, but you'd want to come over here to github.com slash Prometheus slash Prometheus slash releases and download a Prometheus release. Um, I have downloaded a 1.8.1 binary here for Linux AMD64. Um, by the time you watch this video, there may be a, a, newer rele a newer release out, but this is the current release at the time of the making of this video. Um, so I've already downloaded this binary ahead of time, so we're not watching me download binaries. Um, so heading back over to the terminal, um, I'm just going to head over to this terminal tab. Um, in the same directory where I, I've downloaded my binaries. So let's change directory into the Prometheus 1.8.1 uh, directory, which you'll get when you untar uh, this tarball here. So now that I'm in here, I can see we need to configure Prometheus to actually uh, actually scrape the NRPE exporter. Uh, so if you're familiar with the black box exporter, it's kind of similar, but uh, let's just take a look at the configuration. So I've uh, pre-configured my Prometheus. Uh, you'll need to edit this file yourself. Um, the configuration I'm using here, you can get it. Um, you can get it uh, over here at github.com slash robust perception slash NRP exporter. So the NRP exporter is GitHub repo. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the you'll see an example configuration for Prometheus. So if you just copy and paste this, it's the same as the one I'm using uh, in this tutorial. Um, so taking a look at it, we have just declared a job name called NRPE. Um, I have a scrape interval of five seconds, so things are nice and quick. Um, the params, I'm worried, so we're going to use the command check load against our target, which is just our local host, uh, our locally running Nagios NRPE server. And then we have some relabeling here similar to the black box exporter. So you need relabeling in this case to use the NRPE exporter with Prometheus. Um, so backing out of that, let's run Prometheus. And Prometheus is now running on port 9090. So let's head over to localhost port 9090. Um, I just zoomed in a bit too much. Uh, so yeah, if we want to go over here to status and check our targets, we can see that our NRPE exporter is being picked up by Prometheus and Prometheus is scraping it and the last scrape was about four seconds ago. So if I head back over here, I should be able to query Prometheus for the the three these three um these three metrics that the exporter is creating and exporting on the NRPE command. So if I type in NRPE command, we can see them here. Uh, let's have a look at OK. Hit execute. And we can see the metric is successfully being ingested by Prometheus. So that means we can graph it. If I just shrink down the time here, you can see, yeah, so it's one. Um, I've also included a Grafana um, NRPE exporter dashboard um, that I created. In The link will be in the description of this video. It's just kind of handy, a few handy graphs and tables that are good for monitoring Nagios checks. So you'll have basically one pane of glass you can check your Nagios your Nagios um, commands on. And uh, that's the end of this tutorial on the NRPE exporter with Prometheus. Uh, thanks for watching.